man. <sighs> Where to start? Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. These are the last reminders I have of who I am. They're you! Of course! Hello, Peter! I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. All right. Let's get started. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Hey, it's the thought that counts. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. All right. Let's see what we got over here. My toy ray gun from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. I mean, the galaxy is a dangerous place. <laughs> My emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They helped me to... Act like a fool? No. Relax. They helped me to relax. Nah. Need to keep my wits about me. It's my weight set. Just in case you were wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. I wasn't. Take one last look at this bod, cause after today we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. Well... The dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away. To help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are, and I do not want to throw you away. Here. You can start your own collection of odds and ends. That you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best... Baseball glove. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Looks like you kept a few things. Only the essentials. I guess this is a case where half-assed is better than no-assed. I'm actually a little surprised he came back with anything. My ego's swelling here. All right, since you're not absolutely pathetic, I'll ditch the guns. Hmm. Fine. Same with my swords. I am Groot. Man, that is... really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You should keep it. Agreed. And what of this one? Blue! How did it get in here? Probably followed us through the caves. This is why you don't befriend strange creatures. Nah, no way. Get rid of it. But he's so lonely. 
That little bastard ran us straight into a trap. You don't know that. He ran just as the other creatures appeared. We're keeping him. That's the end of it. Fine. What else we got to ditch? Well, I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> the thing I gave you to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. Ugh, fine. Keep it. Oh, no thank you. The frustration you're feeling teaches me that things aren't worth the emotional baggage. Here. Great, great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff and we're such great friends now, but there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. I've done the numbers and that thing has to go. Rocket. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself. It's real weird and all, but even with everything we're ditching, it's still gonna be close. We wanna play it safe. We gotta toss it. Okay, you win. Today's the day the music dies. Drax! <laughs> It is dead. Okay. With that thing gone, the rest of the stuff we stripped, and those extra engines, we should actually be able to get out of here. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I installed the engines you found? Yep. Right after that. Exactly. Ready to bust out of this rock lobster? Engines are online, Pete. Now we just gotta, uh, pick an exit. Uh, are you actually implying? Yes, this worm is a meat tunnel. We could either go out the mouth side or the back side. I am Groot. <laughs> Groot doesn't want to fly out of a giant worm's giant posterior. We're already facing the colon. We should head out the colon. Would you stop saying that word? That is the word for what it is. It is a colon. Well, I vote mouth. We already know the Milano uh, fits that way. I ain't got a ton of interest getting wedged in this thing's. Uh, Say it, raccoon. Say colon. Wormhole. Oh, I can't believe we're wasting time arguing about this. This is what's wrong with this team. The mouth has teeth. This creature could bite us in half. Knowing the weird crap we've seen in this place, I'm sure its butt has teeth too. <sighs> I think going out the front end is best. Everything barfs. We'll just. Make it do that. You wish to reverse this creature's digestive tract? The path of least resistance would be... Do not say colon! You just said colon! <laughs> I'm going to fly now! It's working! And it's gonna be gross. Still beats the alternative. How do you know? Just get us out alive, please. No problemo. We'll be out of here faster than you can say. Projectile vomiting. We never tell anyone about this. Would it be considered irony if I vomited right now? Mm. Irony averted. I have swallowed it. Oh good! Sounds like somebody's coming back for seconds! Okay, okay, I hear you. Looks like one of our shiny new engines got itself turned off during our grandiose exit back there. Can we fix it? Sure, you can. Just climb out onto that wing and turn it back on. Me? No, I didn't volunteer. Yeah, well, you're the only one who can sort of fly, so it's got to be you. I'm fine. Okay, I'm out here. Are you going to slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just going to tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? Hold on. I don't think that's a safe One, two, three. 
Leaking. They need no compensators! Somebody help me steer this freaking thing! I don't understand! The compensator gel all runs inside the ship. How did that get damaged? Yeah, so uh, one or two of the worms may have made it inside. Well, somebody deal with them before the ship sheds itself apart! Come, tree. We shall peacefully resolve the situation with our knives. I am Groot! family, like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. I told my daughter to never surrender. That is what I must do now. This day, I honor her by doing the same. I will go alone into battle and slice this beast from mouth to colon. You will not have a good day. Well, you better do something quick down there! The ship break it up! Please, Peter. Give me this. Tracks. We're losing engine power! I am We can't keep this up! You gotta do something, Pete! It is what I must do. Tell me what I have to do. Hit the button once I am inside. I will take care of the rest. Thank you. 
My family will be proud, and I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. You're a hero, Drax. No. I am a guardian. You did, did the trick. Whoa, you okay? Nice work, buddy. I am Groot. Why? What happened? You okay, Pete? Where's Drax? <laughs> no. Peter, where's Drax? He died a hero. He's the reason we're still here. What's that mean? He jumped from the airlock to slow the creature down. No! What? He's... gone? We have to go back. Hold on, hold on, we can't go back. We're limping as it is! Also, this is how you keep us together. By launching one of us out the airlock? be a long ride to nowhere. She looks pretty rough, huh? Ugh. It smells even worse. Not that I'm surprised. After what we've put her through. We'll fix her up. She'll look and smell good as new. Yeah... We can fix this, right? Not so sure the ship's ever gonna be the same, Pete. Sorry. Thing about, you know, with, uh. Ah, damn it, Pete. Drax. What I'm saying is, I know it must have been tough, but it was the right call. Glad I didn't have to make it. So, uh. Yeah. I think his family would be proud. I hope he gets to see them again. Yeah, I don't. I don't really believe that, but. Nice thought. His family would be proud? Yeah, whatever you have to tell yourself, Peter. Oh, come on! Look around, Rocket. There are two less Guardians here, in case you haven't noticed. You need the backup. I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I just want to hear what he was thinking. I'm with Pete on this one. Okay, it's pretty obvious we're all upset here. So let's just take a minute Upset and... Upset is when someone messes up my order at a restaurant. Upset doesn't quite cut it here. Please, the anger is overwhelming. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna tell you one more time, lady. Back up. You back up. I ain't going anywhere. <sighs> Don't. The guy did what he had to do. Stop it, please. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. You should embrace that a little bit. That we can stand here having this stupid argument I at all. I trusted Peter to keep us all safe. I thought he understood that. Look what you're doing to Mantis, huh? You think Drax would have wanted that? He gave his life so we could all still be together. Don't waste that. I never asked him to do that. I don't need anyone dying for me. Too much anger, resentment, 
and sadness. Your pain is overwhelming each of you. It's too much for me to be around. If you disagree with each other so much, why don't you all simply walk away? Your feelings for one another are all at war. It is more than I wish to bear. Well, because we're family. And you don't quit on family. Like you didn't quit on Drax? Like Drax didn't quit on all of us? Like you're not gonna quit until we're all patronized to death? Being around you, this is too painful for me. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. That's got to be some sort of record. She's basically been chained to us up until now. She gets two minutes of free will and we drive her away. I am Groot. I am proud of myself in a weird way. You're right about one thing, Peter. We are family. But Thanos was my family too. And sometimes being in a family sucks. So, good luck. Gamora, wait. Please, don't do this. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. I got one word for you, Pete. Yikes. I am Groot. What? Why would you do that? What? What, what did he say? Groot, come on! I am Groot. He's going! He's leaving us. I am Groot. Peter, what about me? I am Groot. But why? Yeah, explain this totally selfish decision. I am Groot. He says he doesn't want Mantis to be alone. I am Groot. That I have you. I am Groot. He knows what it's like to be the last of his kind and alone out there. I am Groot. And he knows how important it is to find someone to look out for you. I am... I am Groot. He says I need to stay and keep an eye on you. I am Groot. Oh, man. He's saying a bunch of sad stuff. I love you, buddy. I am Groot. my friend. Trees had such big hearts, huh? What a jerk. <clears throat> I don't think you really mean that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, Rocket, I guess you'll be leaving too. About that. I think I'm gonna stick around for a while. But you said you wanted to go. I know what I said. I was just considering my options, as is my right. I know. Well, what now? Only one thing left to do at a moment like this. Barkeep, two of your most lethal concoctions, please. Uh. 
better make it three. Next up is Best idea you've had in a long time. A Eight or nine rounds, just... then we find Ha. Hold on. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. 